Hi, everybody. All right, today we're finally doing a little wire organization. So you saw me running the wires last time, and I think we're pretty much done uh, for the time being. There are some other things I want to do in the future, but for now, I've got enough wire in there to get this baby flying. So in this video, we're going to take all of that wire and we're going to organize it and bundle it up and make sure that it all fits in. So that's what we are doing today. Uh, let's see. Any announcements, questions? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Van Paul has asked, got some Q&A, has asked to talk about the new Lycoming engine for fans. Anyone that has uh, saw the news, because it's Oshkosh week. Happy Oshkosh. Uh, even though we're not there. Uh, is that, you know, uh, Vans has come out with a new 215 horsepower model of the IO390 for the for the 14. Well, not just for the 14, but they probably could, people will probably use them on other planes. What's the difference? Well, it's a, it's a tuned fuel injection system, and it's a cold air sump. Those seems to be the main improvements that they've done to this. Um, anyone can put a cold air sump on their plane, and they've actually had one, so Lycoma actually makes one, a model of that for Cirrus, and has a cold air sump on it. So this is more or less just along the lines of what they're doing for the Cirrus. Of course, it is the Thunderbolt model, so it's port and polished, etc., etc. Five more horsepower, ten less pounds. No, I'm not getting that motor. Uh, the motor I'm buying will be actually less cost than that and higher performance. I'm still not mentioning it, because I'm... You'll see. So what you see me doing is you've got all these wires, right? I'm trying to segregate them into three sets. So you got the antenna, right, all wrapped up. And you can just see I'm using blue painter's tape temporarily. Uh, data and power. So this is just the initial segregation. I'm I, don't, I don't think we can use that word anymore. This is the initial grouping of these wires now. Uh, just want to make sure that they're, you know, going up the left and right sides of the tunnels correctly, that they're not getting in the way of the fuel pumps, right? And you can see that I'm kind of bringing it through that vertical uh, brace between the center tunnel and the sub-panel. The reason I have to do that is because my fuel uh, system is too large, and it's in the way, and I really can't do anything about it. And normally the wire goes through the tunnel and behind the vertical connector. Unfortunately, it won't fit. Uh, I mean, it could fit, but it'd be rubbing up against the entire fuel s system, and I just didn't, you know, it makes me uncomfortable. So we're just bypassing it by kind of giving it a little bit angle up. It's perfectly fine because the circuit breaker panel will be at an angle, and it will miss all these wires. And this really is, look, the, the thing about the... Uh, wiring that really made me nervous was just the fact that I didn't know if I was going to make it pretty enough. Uh, I still haven't made it as pretty as I would like, but I'm, you know, about 90% there. And the other part is that, you know, p painter's tape is a good way to be able to, you know, cordon off wires together, see what it looks like. If you don't like it, you can easily just take that tape off and split the wires up and rebundle them and do it again. But as you can see, already, it's much cleaner. Well, it's much cleaner up and through the point where it actually goes through that center brace. Past the center brace, it is still a rat's nest. And here you can see, so this is the idea, right? So the circuit breaker panel is going to be at an angle. As I have said, this is the one that I've made, and unfortunately it's too big, and I'm going to have to uh, replace it, uh, only because I can't pull it out to work on it unless I pull it out at least a foot right before I can turn it around and then that's just too far because I don't have that kind of slack right so uh, it will it will still look more or less like this it'll just be at le uh, less of an angle but all those wires going behind it it clears all the circuit breakers no problem and just to be safe I'm thinking about putting a plastic cover behind the circuit breaker panel so that there are no shorts Anyway, that's the wire organization. Uh, have a good weekend. Uh, today I'm going out to the airport and I'm going to be washing a bunch of the club planes because someone's got to do it. So, Thank you for joining me, everybody. See you soon.